On this video, we're gonna cover the best launch monitor options for mere mortals like you and like me. First, we'll talk about launch monitors that are sub $700. These are gonna be our more budget friendly options. Then we're gonna move up to the mid tier here. These are gonna be basically between 3000, give or take, up to about $7,000 in price and we'll break down what I think the best options are. There is an even higher tier when you get into the real professional industrial level stuff, like the TrackMan, the GC Quad. That stuff we're not gonna cover in this particular video, but we will cover it in future videos. And before we get started here with the recommendations, I will say if you want personalized recommendations, I highly recommend you check out the tool. I've got a link down to it below where we've built a survey along with playbetter.com so you can help choose the best launch monitor for you and your particular situation. Like I said, the link's down below, check it out, but let's get into my rankings here. Let's start off here with the budget category. There are gonna be three launch monitors in this category that I think are definitely going to be the best options for the majority of people out there. So we'll start off here with the Garmin R10. Now this is a unit that I was the first to ever check out. And since that day, I have been enamored with it. I love the portability. I love the ease of use of setup. And I love all the metrics and capabilities of this thing. It was the first sub $600 launch monitor to really offer you tools that you could only get in the three to $4,000 range. So always been an exciting product. Over the years, the Garmin R10 has been greatly improved with firmware updates. And it's also gotten much more accurate with the ability to add awesome golf and use Titleist RCT balls. I did a video about that, which I'll link to up here, up top if you wanna check it out. But the Garmin R10 is a very accurate indoor and outdoor device at this point. The Garmin R10 is going to offer you the most data points of any launch monitor in this category. Now granted, some of these data points are calculated based on the ball physics, okay? But you're going to get things like club path, face impact data, that's really, really nice stuff that you generally only get with the more expensive launch monitors. Out on the range and indoors, I find it to be very accurate, especially when you get the setup right. The Garmin R10 also offers simulation. Now that's a subscription and you need to be aware of that. It's $99 a year if you wanna have access to the simulator, or if you wanna use a third party, it's going to cost whatever the third party simulation costs. So just take that into account. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Garmin R10 in wood buy. Let's move on to the Voice Caddy SC4. This is a brand new launch monitor that has just come out as of me making the video. The SC4 has the most promising feature set and I love the fact that it's $549 and yet it has no subscription. You will be able to have access to E6 Connect and other third-party simulator options and this makes this a very tempting offer here from Voice Caddy. The other thing with the SC4 is you don't need a special ball. You don't need one of those balls with dots or you don't need an RCT ball, an RPT ball, anything like that. It works with regular golf balls. So without the subscription, without the need for specialized balls, this has the making of being a home run. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new SC4 in the wood buy category. Let's talk next about the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. I think this is right now in the price point, probably the most compelling option. I have tested this indoors and outdoors. Indoors especially, this is the most accurate launch monitor in this price range. But there's a couple of things that you need to consider here with the Rapsodo. Number one, there is a subscription cost. After the first year of owning this device, you will be paying $199 to have the stuff that really makes this thing useful, like access to spin numbers, access to making it a full simulator, that sort of thing. So really you need to consider this as more like a $1,200 unit if you think about the costs over three or four years. The other thing to consider here is that it requires a specialized ball, the Callaway RPT balls. You'll get a set of three with the unit when you first buy it, but three won't last you more than a few months. You're gonna need to continue to purchase purchase these balls or come up with another solution. I've seen some videos here on YouTube where people are like putting stickers on regular golf balls, that sort of thing. The fact is you're gonna need special balls to really get the accurate metrics. So that's a little bit of a downside and something you need to consider. But again, all in all, I think if I was putting my money into a new launch monitor here in 2023 and they were available for order because there's been a lot of back orders with these things, I'd be choosing the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. I think it's best in class right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Rapsodo in the pure class category. Now in this sub $700 range, the only other two I would consider right now would be if you can get them at a discount, either the Voice Caddy 
Swing Caddy SC300i. I think that's still a very solid, very accurate device, especially for outdoor use. Not so much for indoor use, but outdoor use especially. It's awesome to look back and see the visuals on a screen. You can actually see your stats. And it's also awesome to hear them audibly. I think that is definitely a cool feature for a lot of folks. If you can get this on sale somewhere in the mid 300s, I think that's a good entry point to that unit. It's gonna be about half the price of some of those other ones we spoke about. So I'll put the SC300i in the wood try category. And if you can get a real good deal on it, it would be wood by. And the other one I would mention is the Flightscope Mevo. Okay, this is another one that if you can get a, on a good sale, you can get a second hand one here for $350, give or take. I think that is, again, a very accurate device, especially outdoors. It's gonna be decent indoors, but much better and stronger outdoors. And it's very user-friendly, setup is easy, it does the basics right. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Mevo in the wood try category. Again, if you get a serious deal on it, we could move that up to wood buy. Now guys, before we move on to the mid-tier here, I wanna make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I am getting these launch monitors and all the golf technology you see on this show before anyone else. And if you wanna be cutting edge, you will want to subscribe to Let's Play Through. All right, let's move on to the mid-tier here. Again, I'm considering this kind of between the price point of about $29.99, $3,000, up to about $7,000. Let's break these down. The first one I wanna talk about here is the Bushnell Launch Pro. You've got three cameras built into this, it's an optical device. You don't need a ton of room to really pull this one off. You can probably get away with maybe 10 to 12 feet in length of a room, so that's a nice feature. It's giving you club face impact data. It does 99% of what a GC quad does, something that costs considerably more, and I find it to be extremely, extremely accurate. It's not the most portable device, and none of the ones up in this class I don't think are super portable, but it actually does fit in my golf bag and I have taken it out to the range on a number of occasions. It's got great battery life. It has great apps now built for it, including FSX Play, which is a really, really robust simulator experience. On top of it, like you can do with almost all of these devices in the mid-tier is you can hook it up to a third party. Right now with the BLP, I think the best option is just to go for a $99 subscription and add on a third party piece of software called GS Pro, which is really top of the game. And as of me making this video with some other competition that's entered the market, they've lowered the price to $29.99. I think it's by far the best value out there. And on top of it, when it first came out, there was kind of higher subscription tiers and those have become much more affordable. They've actually offered you more options with them. So for $3,000 for me, the BLP has to be pure class, no doubt about it. The next one on the list here, Skytrack Plus. These are now just starting to roll out to consumers. I was one of the first people to actually test this thing. I found it to be very accurate. I couldn't go directly up against my BLP because they need to sit in the same place to get ball data. But from knowing my own game and testing it against some other Doppler devices, I have found that this thing is extremely accurate. Some of the other things I love about the SkyTrack Plus are the club gapping features, the wedge matrix feature that's built into it. That also comes with a little higher tier subscription, but the subscription costs really are not that expensive. I think the highest tier right now, at least as of me making this video, is $299 a year. So it's pretty reasonable. Again, once you get into these mid-tier models, the subscription costs can get kind of pricey. So for me, this is an absolute would buy. Next off is the new Unicore i Mini. I have had a chance to test this unit twice at the PGA show in 2022, as well as in 2023, when they finally released this thing. I think that it's a great device. It's very accurate. But my issue here is the price. I think they mispriced this, to be quite honest with you. At $4,500, it's priced $1,500 more than a BLP or a Skytrack and I just don't see an extra $1,500 of value there. For instance, there's only two cameras built into the iMini. There are three cameras built into the BLP, so you're gonna get more accurate data with the more cameras you have on board there. One cool feature of the iMini is an extreme slow motion camera, so you can see the impact in slow-mo. But is that better than seeing the face data up on screen? Ah, you'll have to decide that. But for me, I don't think it is. So while I think the iMini is a very solid device, very accurate device, 
to me, I just can't justify the price. If Unicor can get that price point down, I could definitely see this moving into the wood buy category because again, very solid unit. If you got one of these, you should be really happy. But right now for me, again, for first timers, I'm gonna choose the BLP. Next on the list is our first Doppler device in this category, and that is the Mevo Plus. The Mevo Plus, what I love about it is its portability. This unit is so easy to fold up, put it in your bag, take it to the range, bring it back to your house, set it up in your backyard or in your garage or wherever you have your simulator set up. It is a fantastic unit with some truly, truly next level information that all of these others will not give you. For instance, they've got D-plane data so you can actually see a 3D visualization of your swing and the impact of the ball. Very, very useful information if you wanna dive in deep into your own swing. The other really cool feature that rolled out this year is called Impact Data. So you can literally see for each shot or over the course of a number of shots, they'll show you a heat map of where the ball impacted your club face. How do they do that from a Doppler device that sits behind you eight feet is mind boggling to me, but it absolutely works. And the times I've tested it, I never saw one that was wrong, which is pretty crazy. I'm sure it happens, but to me it didn't. So Mevo Plus has some really cool features you've got to consider. And again, if you love portability, you're gonna love this device. Now indoors, you are going to need the RCT balls to get the best results. At an MSRP of $19.99, this now becomes a really, really intriguing option. The Mevo Plus has no subscription fees and a lot of you are going to love that. I think it's the only one in this category mid-tier here that doesn't. Now mind you, the D-Plane data and the Impact data is an optional software upgrade. It's about $1,000. That price changes a little more, a little less, depending on sales they're running at the time. But no ongoing subscription is just awesome. So for me, this is an absolute pure class. The next one I wanna talk about here is the Full Swing Kit. And similar to the IXO, I think the Full Swing Kit is priced just too high for what it is. I found it to be so-so in terms of accuracy indoors testing this thing. Just like any Doppler device, always gonna be a little better outdoors. The build quality and what this thing looks like, the design of this thing is top class. I love, again, seeing a visual display nice and bright there on the unit, but the price, I just cannot justify it. I'm gonna put this in meh. Launch monitor I'm gonna cover here is one I have only tested at the PGA show. I have not had a chance to test it here in the studio, but hopefully in the next week or two, we're going to get one of these units for ourselves. It's the Golf Zone Wave. The original iteration of this thing looked a lot like the Mevo Plus, but then they reworked it completely and it's got a new look and feel to it. One very cool feature of the Golf Zone Wave is the fact that it comes with a putting mat. So the Mevo Plus, for instance, is not going to be very accurate when it comes to putting. It will pick up putts, but it's not super accurate like the optical devices. The putting mat included with the Wave promises to be extremely accurate with measuring your putts and making the simulator experience that much better. Now, this one is going to be a little more expensive, I believe $39.99. So it's more expensive than the BLP and the SkyTrack. Maybe we'll see that price come down, I don't know. I think this is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. So at this point, I would absolutely put this in the wood try category. Lastly, we've got the GC3 here. And if you're not familiar, the GC3 and the BLP are the exact same piece of hardware. So all of the features of the BLP are what you'll find in the GC3. The only difference here is gonna be how you pay for it. With the GC3, it's a one-time payment. You unlock everything. There's no ongoing subscription. So for those of you who do not like to be locked into having a subscription, over the years, the GC3 is going to be a better option. Right now, the price has come down to, as of me making this video, $59.99. So it's again, just how you wanna pay for this thing. For me, I think I would still prefer the BLP over the GC3. And for me, with the base of subscription really being all I need at $99 a year, it would take a lot of years for me to justify the GC3 in my own mind. So I'm gonna put this in the would buy category, but it's not pure class, because again, I think the BLP would be my choice here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you something to think about. Like I said, that tool down below is really going to help you narrow down your choices and give you a personalized recommendation for you. If you want to see some more in-depth reviews of the launch monitors that we talked about here today, I've got a playlist here so you can really, really dive deep. I'll catch you back real soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.